<laughs> There's always someone uh, counting, huh, chairs? How's it going, man? Yeah, so I'm a bit late. Is this the last save? No, this was the last save. Okay. So, hey, chairs. Hey, everybody. Hey, Chua. Hey, Fox. Hey, Suika. Hey, Dolan. Hey, everybody else. Hope you guys are having a nice day. We'll be ready for more Okami. It's going good. It's... It, it is no problem of you being late. <laughs> That's good, man. Okay, so here we are. If you remember, last time we made it to the northern Ryoshima coast. Where we did some exploring all around here. And we actually found a way... Well, we found yet the... Porca Porca. I forgot his name, though. That we can ride on his back and go around the islands. And that's what we're gonna do right now. We only made it... We only... Explored half the... No pressure. <laughs> Fuck off, Upar. So, we only... Made it to the three eastern islands. If I remember right. Yeah, not counting the easternmost one. Which is the... Uh, oh! Catch me. Okay, and what we wanted to do first, I remember, is go over to the Western Islands. See so what we got there. We also got some upgrades for our powers, if you remember. Is he still behind me? Like, is that the noise I'm hearing right now? Oh, yeah, he's right behind me with his mouth open. Exactly. And I'm also suspecting we might have an access point. Whoa! What? He just... I thought the Orca was the fastest swimmer. Well, we're still immune, but he just, like, went past us. Anyhow, I'm thinking we might be able to also get to... Uh, that higher part of the island where we came from. With uh, broken steps, staircase. Chinese, Japanese, or Indian? I don't really know much of uh, any of those, to be honest. So I don't feel like I can judge. Also, are you talking about history or mythology? All have similar story. So wait, are you talking? Are you talking about mythology? Because mythology, I know. I know there's some similar stuff, but history-wise, I don't know if their histories are that similar. But again, like I said, well, I can't see a treasure chest here, so I guess we're fine. I guess that was it. So that was that. I'll also be able to arrive to Pony Island at some point, I suppose, but not right now. The top looks a bit like Sauron's uh, tower. Treasure hunting, the light of the moon, your favorite. Yeah, I know, I just didn't think it was that necessary. Like, see, I can I can spot them most of the time. If you actively look for them, they're not that difficult to spot. It's, it's mostly that a lot of time I get swept up with, like, what's going on. Forget about it. Okay, as soon as we got another hole find down here. Ooh. Oh, there's gonna be an enemy here. I can tell. Well, we'll do it. It's unnecessary, but it might save time. Yep, you're right. Speaking of save time, I feel like I should be saving right now, but... Got a feeling there's gonna be... Yep! A again? 
already fought this spider twice. Well, whatever, I know what to do. Unless it has some additional tricks up its sleeve. fire here, but it's just gonna wait. I think it's better to cast a bunch of these. I think that'll be quicker. Where's the boo? Oh, come on! I jumped off! Is that all the damage I did it? Did the bombs do nothing? read right now what you wrote, even though know, it seems important. Hey, what the hell? I thought I... Else. Maybe a good cut would get all of them together. Also, maybe I want to let the ink. Uh... There we go. I want to let the ink regenerate just a bit. Come on already. Alright, fine. Just do it this way. Yeah, each bit is one cent, and only when I get to a hundred dollars, they start releasing the payments, like in increments of one hundred dollars, I think. But you don't, you really don't need to be the the only one paying me a hundred dollars, Cheers. That's really not like what I'm asking of you or anything. But yeah, only once, like my account, let's say, has. I hate how it can't dash. In combat mode, it's really annoying. You know what, maybe I should just try Inferno next time. And screw the ink. Just see, oh, forgot, I can't do that shit. Beat over him? What the hell was that? He just swallows up the ink or something? Gotta go around him, I guess. Okay. Let's let's see if I can do this. It didn't do anything! Come on! That is annoying. I don't understand why I can't use powers. It's really annoying. Okay, as soon as this rod is built, there we go. I think it can go now. Anything? Any 
take hers? Let's not. Where is that thing? What? How did that? What the hell was that? Why did it take so much ink? I don't understand what's going on. Bombs disable the flowers, I see now. Didn't count, god damn it. can't use any powers on this guy. Yeah, that was not very good. Oh, hey VT. Didn't see you there. How's it going? Well, at least... Oh, sun fragment. How many do I have? Not three. I guess I'm done here now. That was kind of bullshit, I just want to say. Seriously don't get why I can't attack him. Like, why Inferno and Slash didn't work. Which is the secret entrances. You must seek after defeating it. It being Bandit Spider of each cave. So I understand, I need to, like, seek the entrances after I al already defeat him? The entrances to where? Okay, I think we're done here, at least. And no treasure down here. We just got that island, and... Maybe over there. We'll have to see. We'll go back in again and see the simple English. Oh, thank you. I gotta keep it simple with me. We we'll probably should know that already. Thinking is hard. I remember that with the first bandit spider, like the first extra bandit spider I found. Yeah, I went back and there wasn't anything noticeable. I could, I could have fought the spider again, but I can probably fight him again if I want. There's this weird sound though. Is something I'm supposed to do? Oh, later on. 
told you to keep it simple with me. There will be challenges. Okay. Alright, so, moving on. So fucking white. It's hard to see anything. Definitely not seeing any loops around here. Look at any golden treasure. Uh, hidden treasure. The nighttime should be here soon. That should help me. That, what are you saying, Wupar? I can understand your text is backwards. Ha ha ha. Yeah, it's actually, I'm, I'm surprised how easy it was for me to read that just now. There we go. Give me that treasure. Oh, hey, Strom. How's it going? Hmm. There is no treasure on this island. Oh, there it is. There might be another one on the beach if we're lucky. Not much, man. Just another end of the day stream. Had a short day at work today. Gonna have another short day tomorrow, so I might be able to stream. Could do some more Mad Max or something, we'll see. Sweet. Okay. So that's... E Ooh! Nope, got the Just gave a donation? It should have been on stream then. Or was it and I just didn't see it? We should find some way to be able to watch donations. Or be aware of them at least. It was on video? Yeah, I, I added it there after Chun uh, added a funny message to his donation. He complained of, and rightly complained. Oh, hey! There's someone over here. this guy? Oh, is he the fisherman I was looking for? I bet he was. Chairs tip 10 tokens. Well, it's not tokens. Oh, not a cam whore yet. Oh, it was, in, it was in the middle of the battle. Yeah, the badge is cool, really. The 1000 cheer badge. It's looking pretty good. It's, it's finally got like a nice color, unlike the other two. Have fun fishing? I love fishing. I just don't do it because I think it would be boring for you guys. Hi there, pup. I need to think of a way to be able to see those uh, donation messages, though. Also, uh, thanks a lot, Chairs. I didn't... I don't know. I'll have to think of some way to be aware of those so I can thank people and, I don't know, be aware of the messages, too. Some folk worry about the water dragon and all. I only fished once and it was about 10 years ago. It was nice. Kinda enjoyed it. I don't know if I'll do it again though. 
But if you're gonna fish, you gotta fish in the sea. All you need is a stout resilience against the vast raging sea. If you've got that, you hardly even need a lime. Yeah, right. That chef, Umi. Oh, yes, that's the guy I was looking for. Wants me to cash him something special. Only one fish fits that bill the king of the sea, the marlin. Oh, and I got a marlin uh, line. How, uh, what a nice coincidence. Yours is my. <laughs> I never went into the harder ones. Yeah, that's true. Again, I never delved, d d delved right into it. But I do like it. It's a fun little minigame. I'm gonna haul in a big one. And give that old guy the shock of his life. Hey pup, do you know what you're carrying there? Any fisherman would kill for that rod. That's the marlin rod, the strongest in the world. With a rod that tough, there's no fish you couldn't reel in. You're the great king of the sea, the marlin. Be nice, pup. You know that rod belongs to me. It doesn't belong to you. You were robbed. What an asshole! Thought he would at least ask me to give it to him. Let's see what this Marlin rod's got, huh? Because you'll want to stick around to see this, right, pup? Marlene. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Okay, Emmy. You got the basic idea, right? Draw a line from the pole to the fish. Let's catch a big one. Hey, I got a bite. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. How did you do it? I got too self conscious. There we go. Now I'm ready. What is that? A clownfish? Is that Nemo? Yeah, it is. Well, I found him. Hey, I got a bite. I can't see what it's doing. Is that a starfish? Yeah, it's always three. Or the boss is the third one. That's the way it's been so far. Yeah, there we go. That's probably it. What? What just happened? Did I do that by accident? Oh, there we go. Wow! Oh, it's Patrick. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna be a big one. This has gotta be a big old marlin. Oh yeah, he is, uh... I can see what you were saying so far. There we go. Well, one cut be enough, though? Nope. Damn it. Oh, you motherfucker. This is completely random, I bet, right? The damn it. Okay, yeah, I get what you were saying before. I'm still kind of enjoying it. There you go. See, all you gotta do is focus. Yeah, I guess there would be another one. Also, after a while, he kind of... Okay, never mind. Oh, come on! Oh, these fucking circles! Wait, what was that? What? How come? Oh, 
Oh, finally. There we go. Yeah, I also thought that was a swordfish, but maybe, I don't know, I don't know that much about fish. Wow, that is pretty big. Take a look at this. The mighty king of the sea, the marlin. It finally hits the sand. I've been fishing here in Miyoshima for a good few years now. But I've never bagged one as big as this before. No time to waste. The prima donna chef will only take the freshest fish. I'll run this over to him now. See ya. Those are 12 freedoms. Then we might be cheating him. Cheers. I know you were completely accurate. Okay, so now that we're done with all of these, let's see if I can reach that higher platform. Okay, let's start with looking over on this side. Yeah, okay, up there is where I want to go. Actually, no, it seems like there is no access point here. I was hoping that's where I got stopped, where I found the kitties and shit. No, I was hoping there was going to be something like a way to access it from the sea. But that is not the case, sadly, so I guess I'm just going to have to wait. And while we're here, I might as well just go check in with a cook. The platform's for a later time. Okay. Well, chairs, it's not really about the size of the freedom, it's about how you use it. Also, the girth of the freedom. Yeah, the cook, what did I say? Oh, damn, that's a big ass marlin. Looks like I'm gonna, gonna learn a new technique, maybe, too. With that graph in the back. Hello, doggy. Feast your eyes on this lively wiggler. That awful water dragon had scared off all the fish in the sea. <laughs> Just look at the size of this marlin. I need juicy fruits of the sea to show what I can do. Only the freshest will do. Now that I've finally got my hands on some fine ingredients. Oh yeah, that's some girthy freedom right there, Tears. It's time to sharpen up my knives and my skills again. Seeing as you're here, doggy, why don't you stay and watch? It's not often I get a, a fish as good as this one. Not often you'll get to see knife skills like mine close up. Enough chit-chat, there's no time to lose. This freshness can't go to waste. It'd be an insult to the fish. Stand back, doggy. The great chef Umi is about to unleash his cyclone slice. Oh, I'm gonna learn the cyclone slice now? I'm guessing. Oh shit. Is this gonna be a cutscene every time I use this on an enemy too? Oh. Wow. Wahoo! Turn to Mario. My best handiwork ever. My skills were getting a little rusty. But now I've reached new heights. I've matured. The fish must be fresh. The dish must be quick. If I sharpen up these blade, blades, I'll be serving up a whale next time. Wahoo! Oh, there we go. Origin of all that is good, another to us all. What power had diminished while you were away? 
The dead man seal in your own true heart have restored my power. I have harnessed his fervent energy to bestow upon you a new power. Dance like a raging whirlwind. You'd make a better warrior than a chef, the way he wields knives. Hey, I just thought of something, Amy. Whirlwind. I know the power of Kazagami is pretty intense. I bet his enthusiasm was what awakened it. If we could do that to a Marlin, just think what it could do to those pesky monsters. Oh, damn. That's an even bigger girth right there, Wupar. Wait, no, 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 no. I want these. Sashimi. Luxurious, specially prepared dish. Completely fills astral pouch. Nice. It's probably whiz ah, damn it. Only got three. Oh well. Should have been quicker. Wait, can he make me more? My skills were getting a little rusty. But now I've reached new. Well, he said that. Oh, just don't get carried away. You could hurt yourself. Yeah, almost Gary Oak levels of girth. Galestorm tech. Okay, finally. Let's see what we can do here. Mystery 2, maybe. Halo Guardian, we saw that one. Divine Wind. Oh, I think I actually got that. Execution of Guardian. More deadly than most of its ilk, this demon fools people into thinking it is an ordinary statue before striking. Stone heads like a shield and is prone to turning them into projectiles. Uh, it's demonic by so great that it must be exercised twice. What does that mean? Oh, whatever. Actually, I wanted to look. I can see another bandit spider here. That's, oh no, the spider queen is what I fought then. There we go, bandit spider. Does he have like a specific tactic I'm not using? That's why I want to prepare your finest treasure as bait. What does that mean? I thought that was a slick-ass calzone, and then I thought it was an expo- <laughs> Okay, hold on a second, I got a drink. Alright, so... Use Galestorm to draw three lines representing a tumultuous storm. Amaterasu's body unleashes a whirlwind that destroys evil. Larger lines make larger storms, but their time is shorter. Small, long, big, short. You might say it's a balanced system. Three ink bottles are required, regardless of size. Harness the righteous wind to blow evil away. Okay, not sure how much I'll use that, but we'll see. Maybe on like the first- oh wait! Let's talk to the to her and see if she has something to say. What's all the noise about? Has Mr. Wumi finished preparing a new dish? I guess he did. Alright, so, new power. I guess I'll have to give it a try on the first. Oh, is Orca not here anymore? Probably by the... Yeah, by the pier. So let's head over there. Also, we might as well say we just got a new technique, beat that boss. Also healed up. Wait, no. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I guess, like uh, Wupar said, our next stop is the Cat Temple, Cat Tower, I'm not sure what to call it. Man, I wonder if that guy's mom misses him or something, or if he misses her. He just got thrown the fuck away. Okay, so yeah, we'll find your kingdom soon enough, don't you worry. I still don't know, maybe a Gale Storm? I guess I can try it. I might as well. Hey, 
it. This again. Oh wait, wasn't there uh oh, never mind, I got it. Okay. Let's give this a try and see if it works. I doubt it, but No, still nothing. Seal also, how many, uh... Only got 39. I need to get more fangs, so I can get that upgrade to make my ink uh, rejuvenate more quickly. It really... make a huge fucking difference, I think. So I should start, I should start remembering to, uh... Attack enemies. It's funny because you can't tell if they're making a proper joke. A seal? Oh yeah, I probably a seal would probably not want to ride it. What is that meowing coming from? It's coming from that tower. It's kind of creepy, but let's go check it out. It's not that creepy. <laughs> I don't know why that is so funny before. It just works really well, that expression. Okay, looking for treasure as usual. Ooh! Oh, kitties! Oh, there's probably gonna be lots of kitties here. Alright, Wupar, remember you told me to buy some more fish. I guess this is one. Oh, and another save point. Well, I just saved, so I don't think I need to again, but. Let's step inside. Cat Call Tower. Man, that is a tall ass tower. Oh, are we gonna learn how to climb? Hmm. Sounds like that annoying meow is coming from the top of this tower. That will also explain how I get to the platform on the main island. Least favorite? Really? They're so adorable. They're really cute. Hey, look at those paw prints on the wall. Isn't that the mark of catwalk? It's one of the 13 celestial brush techniques. Wait, maybe that means... Oh, finally, and I bet that cat statue is a sign of where I can use it. I had a feeling that would be the case for a while, though. Oh, shit! Wait, are those three demon cats? Seems like it. What the hell are they doing? Fire, huh? I don't see any water around here. Let's try distinguishing it like this. Yep, that worked. Oh, also, I gotta pee on you guys. There we go. Whoop. Actually, I better. Because I've tried a bunch of times. Mm, what should I do to it? I guess a bomb would be good. God damn it. Oh, god damn it, what do I Wait, are those more Thanks. Huh. Let's just try. Wow. Three demon fangs, that's great. <laughs> Is that seal? <laughs> sea lions are also great. I agree with you on that, BT. Also, really like sea lions. Okay, let's give you some more fish, little kitty. Keep going. How many kitties are do we still have? Oh, we're only at 68%. Oh, we got all the cows, though. Let's see, we got all the horses. We 
almost got all the sparrows. What about bluebirds? Wait, but nightingales, I mean. Almost 50%, 100% pigs. Doing decent, but we still got more work to do. Oh, we're almost done with the doggos, though. Probably just one more group. Alright. Oh, and even more cats. Yep. I got a feeling I'm gonna need to go and buy more and come back here. fish individually. I mean, come on. They could have just grouped up. Let's see another one over there. It's just like fish. Yeah, uh, just like cats. They're fucking assholes. Really, BT. I don't know if she's aware of them. I wonder if she still writes books, though. I wonder if there was ever an end to Animorphs. I bet there was. There probably was a final book. You know what was it for the 90s? For the 90s, it was a pretty fucking neat uh, book series. I remember liking it. Oh, that one likes me already. Oh, that poor meowing. Okay, I think that's it. That kitty too. Yeah, I think that's all the kitties. And we can move on now. If we find the right way to use this power. Tain Mark of Kabigami. Scroll drawn, okay. Let's see what that is. You may notice the symbols call the mark of Kabagami on your, in your travels. Remnants of Kabagami's power lie within these arcane markings. Those blessed with divine power may walk up walls bearing the mark. Simply jump with the X button when near such a wall. Press the X button again to attach yourself to the wall. You can scale the wall to any height provided the mark is there. Okay. The thing is I've never... well maybe I just didn't notice it. But let's give it a shot. Oh, I need to jump in. Okay. Thought I can run on it. I assume her feelings about the siege have more. <laughs> Top of the tower or something? Yes, obviously. You're one enthusiastic furball. Oh, more. Is it just going back now and getting more food? Because there's going to be a cat at every one of these platforms. Yeah, I should probably go back now before it's. Uh, before I need to retrace some more. Buy, I don't know, like 10 fish or something. Oh, never mind. I do think I'm, I should uh, go back and get some. Whoa! I was not expecting that. Huh. Oh, so it's in case I fall, I just don't have to fall that far. But... Okay, yeah. Okay, so it's time to go back for now. Get some more 
take out food. Be right there, kitty. Don't worry. I'm just gonna go get you some food. Some nice fresh fish. Welcome back, chairs. Okay, oh, I might as well just sell him some of my shit too. Do you have any fish? Yeah. I guess I can sell him that too. Maybe not the Whopper and the Cutlass fish, since they seem like one of a kind. Oh, it's an amazing game, Strom. I, I can't recommend this enough. If you like adventure games, it's one of the best I've played. Really, really, really good. Like seriously, 11 out of 10, I'd give this. It's not cheap, but who knows how many more cats I might beat there. Oh yeah, it's it's old school in the sense that it's like I don't know it, they don't they it's true that they don't make games like this anymore I guess like just the amount of content in one game with no like you know DLCs or something is amazing. Haven't had any major glitches or anything so far. It's just a really amazingly well made game. They really, they barely make any more games like this. Dog signing with cats is like a gay signing with whisper. I thought you were gonna say like a gay signing with lesbians. I am going to play Fallout 4. Oh, there's just an Okami skin for dog meat? Oh, I'm totally getting that. Ah, I love crossovers. I'll get it. I adore crossovers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, another kitty, just as I thought. Good thing I got those fish. Oh, that's also adorable chairs. 
I remember Garho, I think, posted a bunch of uh, Okami cosplays, and it was so adorable and fucking amazing. The only bear Tom is the very helpful dragon for so long in Skyrim. Yeah, I only played Skyrim on Xbox, actually, so no mods. Which means I probably missed out on the on what might be the best part of the game. There's a cat. Good. Who knows how many cores this uh, tower has? Oh, it was you two chairs. My bad then. And yeah, I love these. Well, it really depends on the mod, doesn't it? Some of them can be fun for like a couple minutes. And some can, you know. I've seen that one Skyrim mod that's actually that's basically like an entirely new game. I don't remember its name, but it's got like an, a completely unique story, characters, everything. I always want I wanted to play that, maybe even stream it. But I don't know. But yeah, shit like that, that's amazing. I've seen enough hentai chairs. I don't know exactly where that with what's gonna happen with that baby. Much preferred bug fixing ones myself. I'll leave it at that. Yeah, but I feel like there's something Oh definitely. I always I all usually almost always I play the vanilla version first. And like the mods are to me they're like end game content. Like once I finish the game, I see I played it the way the developers intended, and I saw what they have to offer. And that's when I get the. That's when I get the mods. Except maybe you know bug fixing mods or maybe graphic mods stuff like that. But I always leave you know the really weird ass mods for like end game. Closer, I think the meowing is getting stronger or louder. So it seems like I'm not getting uh, the safety nets anymore. Oh, my ear it's just The Tower of Pum Pumpkin. <laughs> hey, Gek. How's it going, man? Yeah, pretty much. I agree with the Wupar. I don't know if all of the mods, but yeah. First time it's vanilla after that I uh, start with the modding. I only recently got a computer that can handle it though, so we'll see. And then there's like, you know, when I got Mad Max I downloaded the... a high risk texture pack mod and it just like completely bugged up the game. Well not bugged it up, it's just like CPU usage went up to 100. And that was not cool. And I had to fucking like uninstall the game completely to get rid of it, so that was not fun. Dog Cena. Dog Cena would be interesting. Oh, and I guess I do get a safety net right now. No more kitties though, I thought would, there would be more. I get you, Wupar, but there are there's supposed to be colors that are safe for animals. But I've never like really looked into it myself. I 
play a game without mods, play easy, medium, hard, difficult. Real How can you replay a game that much? I can't. It's really hard for me to replay games. That's why I usually try to start on the hardest difficulty. Oh! It seems like I might have reached the top. I usually start again with the hardest difficulty. I try to get like all the achievements, all the content, all the bonuses, all the secret endings, everything, and then I leave it alone. Also, like, I don't usually watch movies a second time. I, I don't think there's a book I've ever read twice. I don't think so. And I rarely see... I rarely watch... I only watch movies a second time if uh, it's with someone who hasn't seen it before. Because I get a kick out of, like, seeing it from their eyes. And getting seeing their reactions. You rush in the first two. No, that's cool. You do you. Yeah. Exactly what Strom is saying. I'm not criticizing. I'm just saying it's like it's like I can't like redo the whole thing again. I also always feel like there's so much more, you know, to see and do. I feel like there's so many games I missed out on. And I got so much to like, you know, learn about or experience. Which is why, which is another reason why I really enjoy these streams, because they, I'm discovering like games that I forgot about, like Okami. I probably wouldn't have played this otherwise, even though I wanted to for years, but I just forgot about the game. And this gives me a great reason to do it. Oh, chairs is dead. Poor chairs. Yours. I just <laughs> fuck off. I didn't get. I didn't see that part. I only saw Strom saying, "We all got our own ways of playing games, and it's okay." It's the way of the nose. <laughs> yeah, well, I got the money, Goyim. That's all I ever needed. Here's the fucking cat. I bet the cat fucking represents a. Uh, it's gonna show another way of like going up or something. I bet. Once I get the power, I bet that's what gonna, what's gonna happen. I had a feeling about that for a while. Oh, a new kitty! Emmy, <laughs> look! There's a kitty cat over there! I wonder what's it doing all alone up here? Oh, well, maybe it got scared, like in the legend, and doesn't know how to come down. have climbed all the way up by itself, could it? Surely there couldn't be anything to eat all the way up here. Well, I got something for you, little kitty. Right here. Some nice tasty fish for you. I like how once they're eating the food, they're delivered to like this astral plane or something. Oh, there he is! A constellation? Here? There we go. Oh, just two? Wait, what am I supposed to do with this? Oh, there we go. What? Why did it reset? It's gotta be as close as I can to perfect. There we go. Pretty good. Kitty cat! Oh shit, he spotted. Huh? Where's this in? Aw, oh, they're just playing. Aww. 
cats and dog coming along. Oh, spider cat. Huh, how much am I assume? Origin of all that is good and mother to us all. The cats are basically just big small cats. Oh, definitely. That's what's so adorable about them. The swirling whirlpool of evil below has driven me to this height. From this perch, I observe the world below and its descent. My power is needed once again. I, Kamigami, god of walls. That's a weird thing to be a god of. Shall gladly offer a bridge of hope to the realm below. Awesome, so now I can create climbable walls, is that the, the deal? Probably from the statues, like you keep saying. Hey, I'm not your personal toy to be played with like that. Wait a sec, that must have been Kamigami, one of the 13 gods. You know, you know, the one with the catwalk brush technique. This kitty right here is a messenger of the gods. You might thought it was just some stray cat. Oh, check it out! The statue's starting to glow! Oh man, we're gonna have to do a stream where I just go back and redo, like, there's been tons of these cats everywhere. I'm just gonna have to go through all the fucking zones again and look for it, I think. Oh, I get it! The Kabigami statue is telling you to use the catwalk power. Amy, put your brush in the statue and draw a line up the wall. That'll let you transfer the god's catwalk power into the wall. Yep, that's what I thought. Ooh, purple. Yes, yes, yes! Well, go look at that, Amy. The mark of Kabigami has appeared to on the path you drew from the Kabigami statue. You now you can climb walls anytime you want. Simply by summoning the mark of Kabigami just like that. Speaking of which, remember those other uh, Kabigami statues we saw? We should try your new brush technique on them too. Most definitely. It's gonna take forever though, I think, to find all of them. <laughs> Cheers. Oh damn. That is a big ass statue. Can I climb up it? Probably not. Nice. Sun Fragment. I think I got three now. Yes! Awesome. So that's it then. I can uh, climb down now. No reason to try and uh, stay up there. Oh, the constellation is up there, I see. So yeah, it seems like I already did everything I could. Oh, no, the constellation is over there, actually. Yeah, it still seems like it just can't climb this. Come here later again, on again, I'm just telling you for a beat. Okay. I'm fine with that, it was uh, kind of nice climbing up here. It's kind of being so spoiled now. It's fine, it's not really a spoiler. Okay, and that cat is cool with me, right? On good terms. Yeah, okay. The messenger of the gods. Just fall down and climb it again right now. Oh, I can do that. Okay. Let's do that then. Let's truly test the might of the no fall damage power. Oh, come on. Aw. Guess I gotta go one floor down first.
By down, I'm assuming you mean like all the way down, like right here. Okay, we got like five minutes of this or something, I guess. And five minutes passed. Yep, I guess we truly are uh, gods. All right, so oh, yeah, of course there are these over here too. Nice. Oh, come on! Uh, any more of these around here? No, there's one over there, and probably a third one on the other side, I'm guessing. You can also redraw midair and move camera. Yeah, I just keep forgetting about that. Another bead. Yeah, rotating the camera, I know, I just always forget I can draw, redraw while jumping. Oh, so there's only two pillars. Let's see. Okay, fine by me. Okay, let's climb the tower. Like Sisyphus, I am bound to the will of the beads. Prayer beads, stray beads, anal beads, just all the beads. Is there any way you're supposed to know that the bead reappears there, or are you just like the game, the devs just wanted you to. be completely desperate and just like finally go and retry every single location there is in the game until you find that one. As it for years, just realized that this is the first time I've felt physically exhausted in years. Yeah, what did you do to make you this exhausted? In the, if this is the first time you felt physically exhausted in years, then you might be in pretty good shape actually. At least, I don't know. Doing pretty well. Spider wolf. Spider wolf. Does whatever a spider wolf does. Can he swing from a whip? No, he can't. Well, it should be no, she can't. She doesn't have the brush technique. Watch out, here comes that spider wolf. Damn, I thought I was already over there. What's up, this thing with the new school was a thing to get. Oh, I love that one. Cheers, it's so adorable. Was that thing with the new school was a thing to get us all to know each other better, which involved a lot of physical games like rope pulling and such. Oh, that sounds awesome, dude. That's way better than uh, what they usually do. Like, set everybody in a circle, say, uh, tell us your name, and an animal that starts with the same letter as your name. He he he. God, I hate those. Or even worse, stuff like, uh, tell us, I don't know, a fact about you that we don't think would be true. Like, a surprising fact about yourself or something stupid like that. I hate those. Yeah, say something, yeah, shit like that. That is terrible. Yeah, just give people beer, some games. They'll get along. Well, are we 
we almost there yet? It feels like this tower is fucking taller than it was last time. Maybe it's because I just made stops to uh, feed every kitty last time. My thumb's hurting already. If this is a troll or something, if you guys are trolling me, I don't think you are. I'm just saying that if you are, and the towers become somehow endless or something. Oh, finally, never mind, forget what I said. What? Why can't I? Is there only a specific place I can? I guess so. Oh, there we go. There we go. Well, that was weird. In high school, one of the games we had to do was say an adjective about yourself that starts with the same letter as your name. Hi, I'm Alex, and I'm autistic, and I did spastic with <laughs> Nice. Well, yeah, that's a good... Well, I guess that's a good way to break the ice, too. If you're funny like that. I think I need to go further up. There we go. I was wondering what was this uh, spot. Stray bead, finally. I'm gonna put it right up my ass. My internship. This Chinese girl told everyone that over the summer she saw a jam band and tried marijuana for the first time, which is cool. Still the whole office. Well, normally, yeah, I'd agree, uh, strong, uh, strong, but I don't know. Like, the US gets such a fucking mar marijuana positive uh, reputation that I would almost expect. Like, in certain states, I don't know, in certain states, I would already expect. Uh, everybody would be like, oh yeah, right on. Also depends on the office, I guess. And an accountancy, I suppose that would be not as, not as, uh, kindly accepted. Yeah, I get what you're saying. No, no, I get what you're saying. Like, I wouldn't say that, my, I wouldn't say that too. Uh, first time I'm in I'm in an office. Even like you know working, like a work in a, it's an office, but it's a it's basically it's a film fund. So it's basically working with artists or people who deal with art and stuff like that. You know. So pretty much, I'm pretty sure that everyone smokes pot where I work. <laughs> And once in a while you get like a reference to that, but you still wouldn't say like, yeah, I just discovered a love pot. Yeah, Colorado was what I was thinking about uh, chairs. There isn't like a cat statue next to this, right? To make me go up and uh, bonk that stone fruit. Yeah, yeah. I'm totally agreeing with the uh, and VT. I totally get what, what you're saying. Like I said, I wouldn't do something like that as well. I guess I'll just write the oracle over there. County. <laughs> well, there's a difference between, like, you know, going to a fucking jam concert and smoking a joint than, you know, smoking on the job. I wouldn't let anyone smoke a joint anywhere. Like, on, on sets where I produced, I never let people smoke or drink. I was very fucking adamant about that, no matter what. Even if it was a relatively easy production, or it seemed like that to some people, or they didn't really have anything to do, I was fucking adamant that no one fucking smokes. 
like you're working. You gotta work. Are these guys back again? Jesus, come on. Oh. Seems like they're not bullying him anymore. Oh, Urashima. The great Urashima. We were wrong and you were right all along. Oh, oh same thing. You're so cool. It really was at the pier. Poor or Orca, I mean. We didn't believe it, but Hiroshima was telling the truth. Oh, Hiroshima, the great Hiroshima. We're just completely bats for all, all of us. <laughs> Urashima? Then what did I say? I thought I said Urashima. Or is it Urashima? Like the emphasis should be on the raw. Nope, god damn it. Come you there, Peach. Y'all make it to the Dragon Palace. Let royal to unsect you to the bottom of the sea, huh? I'm happy as a pig and slop to hear y'all made it. Anyway, I reckon I'm in a bit of a pickle right now. Oh, Urashima. Like that. I think I get it. Like more with the Japanese accent. Just the Ro Hiroshima. Yeah, I get it. Hiroshima. Okay. I think I got it. I want to go fishing to see, but these folks are in my way. Oh, poor guy. Yeah, okay. Nothing else to tell me. Okay, and I know there was a cat statue over there. Maybe next week we'll do like a recap. We'll go back to Kamiki Village and we'll do all the zones again. Because there's bound to be some stuff I missed too with my new powers. Or maybe I'll do it off stream, we'll see. I, I'm not sure if I'll have the time though. Yeah, there it is. Oh wait, I also wanted to fight more monsters to get more fangs. Ah, it's this asshole. Oh damn, I forgot what to do about him. I think a bomb. I think a bomb is his floor, I'm pretty sure. Yes, perfect. I don't want this guy's. Awesome. Oh wait, shit, hold on. Maybe I'll be quick enough to see... Oh no, wait, I wanted to check... What, what was his name again, though? What is that? Poltergeist. Oh, okay. Oh, and they were weasels, apparently. Executioner Guardian. Let me see real quick. Oh, he's also a cherry bomb. That's great. Even though I forgot to piss on him, but whatever. There we go. Excellent. When do we get back to drawing? <laughs> uh, hopefully soon, Strom. Can't tell for sure yet. Oh, this asshole. Oh wait, what happens if I do a whirlwind here? I wonder. What will happen if I do a whirlwind? Oh, it actually damages him quite a bit. But not enough. Again, I forgot to fucking, uh... Wait, what did I need to do to him? I keep forgetting. I think it was this? 
damn it. it wasn't. I keep forgetting what the floral finishers are. And I didn't piss on him, so I didn't get any fangs at all. Okay, we'll get back to those later. Let's go up there and see what we can find. Oh, it also makes perfect sense now that there are kitties here. Finally, so... Maybe I can fix the staircase from this side? Not sure. No. Mm, no, doesn't seem to work, sadly. I don't get why. Like, they really shouldn't have given me this power if I... Tigers. They really shouldn't have given me this power if I can't use it wherever it's just not convenient to the plot. Welcome back, chairs. Dude, chill. Ooh, cutscene. What the shit? Oh, is that that, that crow uh, spirit? That drops and I think and someone else we're talking about. Maybe Wukar. It does, it, that's not necessarily a crow. Well, this does not seem like a fucking crow. I don't see any water. Let's see if this will take care of it. Well, hair didn't really bother him. I can't cut him. Oh, maybe if I throw the fire back at him. Oh, never mind, but maybe these won't work actually. Not sure if I hit him with those. What the hell is that? I don't think I can cut that. Wait, can I? Or is it too late? Whoa, what, what's that? What's he doing? What the? Oh, shit! Second form! What the? Oh, crap! Okay, this guy's starting to annoy me. Uh, can I cut you now? No, I cannot. Can I... Throw a bomb at you? No, I can't. What else do I got? I don't think any fire powers will work here. Actually, screw it, let's give it a shot. Nope. Uh, fuck it. Nothing, god damn it. But maybe it stuns him long enough for me to... No, it doesn't. and long nose. Damn it. I thought it was fine. Oh, finally! Well, how, how should I know? What should I use on him? Let's just try to cut him. Aw. Damn, I'm gonna need to read on that guy right now. Someone there? Dude, isn't it just like your entire job? Uh, anyhow, I really want to read about that fucking guy. Blue Cyclops. The curmudgeonly blue brute usually flies and smokes a pipe. If its pipe goes out, it becomes an raging call. I thought it would be... water. However, relighting the pipe will calm it down almost instantly. That's not very helpful. So I shouldn't have its, uh... Its pipe go out? Okay. Just like the Mirza's main weapon. Yeah, it's personal. 
with it. Oh, I also forgot I can uh, piss on him. Yeah, well, I didn't know it was in rage. If I was just like a second form or something. Okay, let's talk to the Watcher then. This is Watcher's Cape. It said the gods once used this place to return to the heavens. Side weapons, they are the best. I didn't, well, as side weapons, they're just uh, shields, and I could dodge. It would be the same thing, so I don't know. It said that the gods... Oh. At night, this place offered a great view of the starry sky. I should probably be here at night then. Even the Whirlpool Galaxy was visible from the cape's tip. Whirlpool Galaxy? It's a group of stars. The shield is a counterattack? They didn't explain it that way. I had no idea. They said it, uh, it's just a shield. Oh, wait, no. It's a sick Izuna drop that does a ton of damage and gives you a fang. Really? Wait, maybe I'm not understanding right. I'll look at, the, at my equipment in a second. They form the shape of a great spiral like a heavenly whirlpool. Since the demon-shaped island appeared out at sea, there are more and more monsters about, and the skies have dulled. The magnificent starry view can no longer be seen. You can't see the stars in the middle of the day. But when night falls, I've got a wish to make upon a shooting star. If you wish upon a star, it always comes true. Even the Whirlpool Galaxy might appear in the sky again. Okay. Okay, so nothing else here I can do. And this is just the gate, not actual building. Okay. Thought it might be a structure. That's because it's something related. They just generally block everything. But if you time it well, it's a counter. Oh, well that changes everything. I'm gonna try and master that then. Oh, I was gonna. Watch his cape. Let's see. It says, the Whirlpool Galaxy spins in the distant heavens. The Whirlpool shall open up below. Did anyone can say the entrance to the Dragon Palace was a Whirlpool? I don't really get this uh, when the Whirlpool Galaxy spins part. I guess it's gotta be at night. Oh wait, I wanna, so I don't forget, I wanna change it right now. Does it matter which one I use? I don't think, probably not. Probably the same effect, no matter which uh, one of these I get. The whirlpool picture kind of looks like a windmill or something. Why is this place called Watcher's Cape anyway? Here's nothing to write home about. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna try and turn this into night time and then see what we can see. I wonder, first of all, I got the Gale Storm, which kind of looks like a whirlpool flying around me. I might as well just... See, it's a whirlpool around me, but no, that doesn't seem to be it. What if I just... There we go. Why isn't this working? This should work. Let me see, what if I try to, like, I don't know. No. I wonder. 
Now that you got the catwalk. Yeah, I can reach a bunch of places. Maybe this isn't, like, the right time yet. Maybe I need to come back here later. What's that? Oh, sorry, I missed the... Is a world controlled by Jews? Uh, didn't you already ask that, Cheers? And it also said yes? The magic 8-ball, I mean? I'd only just noticed it. You need to get that power showcased. Yeah, that's usually what they do, but how would that work here? Like, I only already used it to get up here. Okay, what does it say again? It did respond? Oh. The whirlpool galaxy spins in the distant... Oh, in the distant heavens, maybe. Maybe I need to do it on the sky or something? Stand up here and, uh... Look up. Do something like this, maybe? Nope. That's just the wind. Just read up again? Well, it needs to spin in the sky, so... Spins in the distant heavens, a whirlpool show up from below. Well, it must be the dragon pal... yeah. What, you mean like do like with a pirate ship? Just do this again? Just, oh. Just stay there for no reason. What signals a star but not the sun? Well, I tried the moon. Maybe I need to do it over here? No. And what if I do... No. A star, not the moon. Okay, then a pentagram like I did back then. Here you go, where's the uh, Strom? Perfect opportunity. Ask the guy again? Yeah, I was thinking about talking to him again. <laughs> of course you're still here. Oh, he's got more clues. And also, there's a treasure I missed. I'm here in the hope that I'll be able to make a wish. Shooting stars are rare. Oh, shooting stars. Not like before. Uh, if only a star would shoot across the night sky. Then I could make a wish upon it. <laughs> if you wish upon a star, it always comes true. Even the Whirlpool Galaxy might appear. Okay, I got the hint. Why did you stand next to me to help me look for shooting stars? Okay, I'll do that right now. I bump my head and it gets this light post and get this treasure. Yeah, it's a great meme. Oh, a dog statue! It looks very loyal and obedient. Aww. Okay. To be fair, I never would have guessed that a shooting star is something that symbolizes a star. Like, I just wouldn't have thought about that. Uh, let's try, I don't know. Whoops. I need to cover you with ink. If it just cut it, I don't know. A shooting star isn't it just the fucking line though? A dot? Oh. It said shooting star, not Oh well now it moves. There, a shooting star! I've got to make my wish right now. Mm. I wish that the sky was as magnificent as it was in the past. And that the Whirlpool Galaxy was visible again. That's a great wish. Oh, wow. That's some cosmic shit right there. Maybe, um... What's her name? Kaguya is up there. That's it! The Whirlpool Galaxy! My wish really did come true!
awesome. So now that it's over there, the whirlpool should also open down below. We might be able to see it if we stand on that in that spot, right? Wow! Check out that whirlpool of stars! It's like a huge windmill in the night sky! You say the whirlpool galaxy is the key to the dragon palace? If so, then the whirlpool entrance should be somewhere under it. Could we have done the way back to Screw you, Gecko. Hmm. This scene looks pretty calm to me. And the whirlpool galaxy isn't even swirling. What do we gotta do to make the whirlpool entrance appear? Well, let's see. I really want it to be something like this. Yeah! I think you're onto something. Maybe we're supposed to blow that starry whirlpool round and round. Try it again, Amy. Keep using that wind power of yours. I want to do it swirly. Yeah, special kind. Whirlpool. Again. There we go. Full speed. It's kind of hypnotizing. Oh, damn. There it is. Look! The Whirlpool entrance to the Dragoon... to the Dragon Palace. The Whirlpool Galaxy is bringing it to the surface. Okay, Amy. It's about time we got on down to that dragon palace. Let's go teach those Dragonians a lesson. They're gonna pay for not keeping that water dragon on a leash. Awesome. So, on to... Aw, oh, damn it. I didn't know it would slide off that. Okay, so back to the Orca. Maybe doing a few fights along the way, trying to... Okay, he's fire from that guy. What does the eye guy do again? Oh, he's fire. Let's do this then. Why, why can't I... Oh, there we go. Oh shit, what do we need to do against these again? Let me... Oh. It's actually written over here. What was it? Lips and eye, right? Or mouth. Inferno and... Gale Storm. Oh cool, I can do both of them now. So wait, I can't... I just need to do... Awesome! Ah, damn it. I tried to time it. Oh, I forgot to pee on him. Oh, well. And there we go. Excellent. Alright, let's move on then. Get those 100. Damn it. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh shit, what is he? Uh, oh, right, a bomb. They both need bombs. Ah, oh, damn it. It was too late with him. Ah, oh, damn it. Thought I could defend against him. Well, he's not really Buddha. If that's what you're referring, uh, chairs. Alright. 
doing pretty good. How many do we have right now? 59? That's really good. Alright, we're getting there. I think I might take a shortcut over here. Oh wait, I want to piss him. Damn it. I keep forgetting. What? Oh, come on. No, that's wrong. Damn it. Okay, yeah. There we go. What's that sprint jump, jump, dash gets you even further? Just these two, and then we'll move on, I promise. What? What is that? Oh, crap, it's those guys. God damn it. I didn't think I, I'd see them again. Where are they again? Ichiro. Can learn close. I'm not... I don't have a foothold. Wait, is that even him, or is that just the Jiro? Attack over and over, and the shells should disengage. And what are they again? What, what is their uh, thunderstorm? I don't have thunderstorm yet, though. Damn it. Oh, hey, Sim. What's up, man? Mad <laughs> Mutt. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, I do want to piss on them. Oh, okay. So yeah, I need to get a foothold. Oh no! Damn it! Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, this is the. That's Ichiro. That's the guy I was thinking. I got confused. So if I got a foothold, I can lure him close and attack his belly. Doing so knocks him out. Okay. So I need to attack his belly. Where are you trying to go? Whoop. Huh? Is that it? Wait, or is he just exposed? Oh no, he did. Okay, cool. I hope. Oh yeah. Okay, the whirlpool is still there. I was worried since uh, maybe because it's night time. Ah, oh, goddamn. Oh, the nose. They both need wind. I remember right? Oh no, that guy needs to slow down. Why is my controller freaking out? Let's be on him and on him. Okay, perfect. the nose take again? Let me see real quick. Fail of miss, perfect. I think he's dead, so let's try that. Oh, I must have missed it. And this guy I think we did... If I remember right. Yes, perfect. Alright, so here we go. Oops. Come on. 
Now you work away! Oh, right, where's that? Over there. Full speed ahead. We only got 10 minutes, but we'll see what we can do. And I think we'll do... We, will, <clears throat> we won't necessarily do the backtracking through all the zones next stream, but I think that eventually we're going to have to go back to Saiyan City anyway. So when we'll have to do that, I'll just go all the way back to, to the village and we'll redo everything that I might have missed with uh, my new powers. Ideas from the audience? Finally, Amy. We made it through that whirlpool down to the bottom of the sea. This must be the Dragon Palace in the Kingdom of the Dragonians. Their leader, Otohime, controls the water dragon. We better not let our guard down. Oh boy. This is going to be a pain. Oh, it's a small area? Okay. Well, just enjoy the super slow-mo for now. That way we can really appreciate how beautiful this place is. Has the emulation been... For most of the time, it's been perfect. That's why this is surprising. It only the, There's only been frame drops, well, in two places. Uh, if you know the game, then in the Queen's Palace with the lava floor, there's been frame drops. And in areas with... Uh, well, in large cursed areas before I activate the sapling. Most of the time though, no issues at all. And assuming that, and those areas weren't that big of a deal, the drops weren't like this either. There were like, this is like, I'm running at about eight to nine FPS at the moment. And the other areas, it was usually around 20 FPS. So it was still very much playable. Even if it was a bit slower. No issue whatsoever, and this emulator is also like it's, it has absolutely no settings you can fill with. So on one hand, I guess that's kind of a downside. On the other hand, for layman like me, it's much easier to just like you know, it's almost plug and play. Oh, you white beast! Exception chairs. And before the queen is missing, we need to retrieve her in super slow mo. What business do you have in the Dragon Palace? You talking to us? The Dragonian Kingdom is no place for land dwellers. State your name. I think you are talking to us like that. Besides, you're the one who let that water dragon run amok. I'm missing, wandering artist and protector of Queen Himiko. Rulu of Saiyan City. Now hurry up and go fetch your leader, Otohime, for me. Chop chop! We 
Windows Edition Ultimate Quality Ambient. No, actually, I haven't seen that. We'll check that out. Is it actually coming out for a uh, PC? Are we going back to the days of uh, Final Fantasy releases to the PC? Man, I hope they do that. First of all, I hope the remake is going to be good. Second of all, I hope it's going to come out for PC. Get a huge vibe, boy. <laughs> Oh, that's great! Finally! I don't know, I thought it sucks uh, too at first, but I heard for some people like it's not amazing, it's not the, like the best Final Fantasy, but it's definitely better than the last few games they've released. That's what I've heard. They're patching the story. How can they patch the story? But that's even better, if we're getting like a fixed release, that's, even, that's way better. I might play it actually on PC if I can run it. I'm kind of intrigued. Like I wasn't intrigued enough to, you know, buy a console just for that. But if it's on, if it's on PC now, I might. The story's having to be patched. Yep. I haven't had time for lowly servants. Himiko, Queen Himiko from Saiyan City. Unless they patch the gameplay and characters out of FF5 and FF5 characters and gameplay. <laughs> oh, Gecko. Oh, hey, Palma. Then that white beast must be. Hey, what are you two babbling about? Are we gonna go get our Tohime or, or not? And before Tohima is the water dragon. Final Fantasy XP patch will add more story to improve. Oh wow. I'm gonna read on that later. It's kinda sad, but like on one hand it's sad, on the other hand it's good, like they could have just as well not dealt with the story. So it's good that they're at least actively doing something to improve. I think it's just the market, you know? The way the market is built right now. Oh, I also missed... Uh, never mind. Where's the SSH path to delete bomb? <laughs> oh, Sim. Uh, the Japanese did not call Westerners white at any point because the skin tone of the Europeans that came to Japan must have the same skin tone as the native Japanese due to being tanned. Well, you know, I did not know that. This way, O oh beast of white, her royal highness will receive you in the throne room. Okay, fingers crossed that this, that only, it's only over here. Let's slow down. Oh boy, it's just the same. It's exactly the same. We're just gonna have to play the game this way, I think. Or, I don't know. Honestly, I'm up for ideas. If this is too much and I feel like it might be too much, I could either do this area off stream or I could... I don't know, I would have suggested like PS2 if this was earlier, but I don't think I can also like move my save over to PS2. Uh, I don't know. Any bright ideas from the audience? Has your journey here tired you, O oh, esteemed guest of Otohime? Or check which settings may improve. That's the thing, I don't think this emulator has any settings at all. Like, not any graphic or CPU settings as well. And, and anyway. Oh, actually there are. I got confused with a different uh, emulator. Yeah, I guess I could try to fill with it a bit. Red RPC. No, I was confused because I downloaded a separate emulator recently. Uh, Simu. Simu is the one without any settings. That's uh, almost plug and play. Uh, I got it recently. Like I downloaded it specifically for this stream. 
but I've been streaming this for a couple, of, for like, I don't know, maybe even a month or two now. It's hard to tell. I could check if there's a newer version, but I think this is probably one of the latest, if not the latest, and I'll fill with the uh, settings, definitely, before next stream. It's been decades since we had a land-dwelling visitor here. Actually, you just one, had one recently. And a lupine guest at that. I must say this is quite unusual. Oh, it updates almost daily. Okay, I'll check it out then. But if it updates almost daily, that probably means that, that it, the likelihood that they address this problem specifically might not be that good. But it doesn't hurt to upgrade. I wish I knew what Otohime was thinking. Anyhow, with all this slowdown, of us being slow boys, well, it's a bit better. Instead of like 8 FPS, it's now at 9.3 FPS. I can feel the difference. Okay, so I'm gonna try and fill with it a bit before tomorrow. Hopefully I'll find the time. But until then, unfortunately, we didn't get to do much with our time. Hopefully tomorrow it will be better. Whoosh! But that's all the time I have for today. I'll be back tomorrow though. At the stage that RPCS3 is in, regressions and great advancements can happen. Oh! Okay, fair enough. Hopefully there won't be a regression. Record the area off stream and stream the recording with live comment. <laughs> I guess that's possible. I mean, that's let's say that's the last... Uh, that's the final option I'll take. If I can make it work with fiddling with the settings in any way. Dog Shrolls meant for unplayable to playable in one version. Really? Well, this game was, con like I checked it before, it was considered on the R R RPC S3 website, it was considered as uh, playable, as fully playable. And for mostly it is. It's really this area that I would consider unplayable so far in the game. Dark Souls already plays like it's underwater. <laughs> True. Underwater, underground. Oh well. Anyhow, that's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow, same time as today, guys. You can check the schedule to see what time is it for you locally. Uh, Reminding you guys, you can also choose what game I'm going to play after this using the poll. The link is on my Twitch page. You can vote only once. We can always edit your vote in case you have a change of heart. And you can also choose the other option to add a game to the list. Like, I think uh, yesterday, a couple of days ago, someone ad requested Okami Den, the sequel to this. So I added it that so you can edit your vote and vote for that, for example, or any other game or suggest any other game. And, of course, you can follow me on Twitch and Twitter and Steam to get notifications when I start to stream or on Twitch and YouTube to watch past recordings of this and other games. Yeah, well, it is playable, Sim, to be fair, except this part. And it's only like 36 hours into the game that it reached this, so... I don't know. Anyhow, uh, so that's it. I'm, I'm off, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry about this at the end. At least it happened just at the end and not halfway through the stream. I'll try to fill it with the settings to see if I can do anything better. Like I said, worst case scenario, I'll just do it offline and then upload it to Twitch and YouTube. Uh, for you guys to see, whoever wants to watch, and then we'll uh, move on. And that's it. So I think, I didn't see him, but I think uh, Super Drops was scheduled for uh, today for some more Shardlight. I hope he still is. And if not, maybe we'll have another stream later on over on safetyheroes.com. So that's it, guys. Thanks again. See you soon. Take care, everybody. And Marco.